good morning. Saturday, the DEA and law enforcement agencies across the country will hold a prescription drug take-back day at hundreds of locations, including all over Washington. You'll be able to drop off prescription medication. No questions asked. It's part of the Drug Enforcement Agency's efforts to prevent abuse of those medications. And joining us in studio this morning is Assistant Special Agent in Charge of the DEA in Seattle, Russ Bear. We appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. So what is the purpose of this event beyond just clearing out people's medic medicine cabinets? Yeah, so the Take Back event is this Saturday, the 28th of October. It starts at 10 o'clock in the morning, goes until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll have 69 uh, collection sites throughout the state of Washington over 180 sites in, in the region. The purpose of Take Back, it's critically important to address the public uh, health and safety crisis that, that we're in the middle of. Uh, prescription medications oftentimes languish uh, in medicine cabinets, in homes. So the purpose of Take Back is to collect, provide an opportunity for the disposal of unwanted or expired prescription medications it uh, provides a, a method of, uh, it's safe, it's effective, environmentally friendly, and it's the proper way to, to allow the public to dispose of, of these medications. And I want to quick get out of the way what you guys will not take. Uh, and we have some information we're going to kind of put at the bottom of your screen if you have a chance to jot it down. A website where you can find the drop-off location nearest you and a phone number in case that works better for you. Um, you know, we have people who have medications hanging around. Is there, is there anything you guys won't take as part of this drug back? If I bring in heroin or needles are you guys going to accept that no question no that. controlled substances other than the the pills the prescription uh, p uh medications to include opioids uh we'll accept patches solids and patches no liquids no needles other than that uh we'll have law enforcement and, and our community partners at uh, a great number of locations and on standby saturday and you guys have done this event quite a bit. Um, I, we talked about it in April. You guys had an event that we told our viewers about. How much in Washington did you guys collect on that single day back in April? So Saturday's event will be actually the 14th time that we've done this nationally in the Seattle area, throughout Washington, and across our country. Uh, in Washington alone, the last collection was in April of 2017. We collected more than seven and a half tons Wow. Of prescription medications. Wow. And I'm not going to ask you, you know, I know your job is in politics. I'm not going to ask you to make a foray into politics, but we are expecting the president at 11 uh, a.m. or time to make an announcement declaring the opioid crisis a national emergency. Um, from your guys' part, do you agree that we're in a national emergency? We absolutely are. When you look at the, the limited resources that are being taxed to their maximum capacity within law enforcement, first responders, the medical community, our health system, the foster care system. All these systems and programs and, and agencies that are striving to provide protection for the community are being taxed and are having a hard time keeping up. Uh, if you look at this in terms of the human pain and suffering, yeah. think of Safe Cofield. Maximum capacity is about 48,000 people. Add another five to 10,000 people and go back to 2015 and you have the number of overdose deaths, wow. drug overdose deaths. Wow. Uh, 2015, we had more than uh, 50,000 drug overdose deaths, 60%. Uh, 33,000 of those were opioid related overdose deaths. So the Take Back event is, is yet another example of, of DEA's commitment to providing uh, education, prevention, uh, and, and talking about these issues in, in the context of the overall problem. Just really quickly, because we run out of time, you've got a pin on there. It's a DEA badge with a red ribbon around it. It is Red, Rib red Ribbon Week for the DEA. What is that? It is. It started on the 23rd. It goes through the end of this month. Uh, it's, uh, it's an event that commemorates and honors uh, DEA Special Agent Enrique Kiki Camarena, who was kidnapped, brutally tortured, and killed by Mexican drug traffickers in 1985. It's an opportunity to provide the community with educational resources and tools about uh, drug use and prevention. All right, Assistant Special Agent in Charge, Russ Bear, we appreciate your time. We appreciate all the work that your agents are doing, especially in the midst of this crisis. I know there's no shortage of work for them to Thank do. Thank you. So thanks for being with us.